True story here. Uh, I teach at my local community college and uh, about six weeks into class one semester I had been talking all about oh thousandths of an inch this, thousandths of an inch that, that piece is 375 thousandths and so on and so forth. One of the students who was actually doing pretty well in the class stopped me as I was doing one of the demos and said uh, what is a thousandth of an inch? I was a bit taken aback by that because I figured it was something that was self-evident and I, I didn't really need to explain it. But then I thought about it, of course, from their perspective. They've never had to deal with anything smaller than fractional inches. So let's talk a bit about thousandths. So this is a one-inch mic standard. It's very accurate. It's for calibrating your micrometers. And imagine this chopped up into a thousand pieces. So. 1,000 little slices of this equal slices of this, and that is your thousandth of an inch. So let's put this into perspective. Um, the smallest fractional inch that most people would be thinking about would be 1 64th of an inch. And, you know, woodworkers and stuff, that is an incredibly tight tolerance. Well, that equals 0 0.015, and then there's a bunch of tenths here, 625 actually. So between 15 and 16 thousandths of an inch. Now that's a pretty big number in the machining world. Um, I mean that would be a clearance hole for a bolt or something that didn't really matter as far as location. Uh, but if you had a shaft or a pin running through a hole and you had 15 thousandths of clearance, um, that would be a very, very loose fit. Now to give you even further perspective, the paper that this is written on, which is just standard copy paper or printer paper, that is four thousandths of an inch thick, 0 0.004. Most human hair is also around four to five thousandths of an inch thick. Unless you've got all the luscious body and volume that I do. So for the metric folks, one thousandth of an inch equals 0 0.0254 millimeters. There we go. Just to give it a little bit more perspective for people who aren't in the inch system. So what does all this thousandth business mean in the real world? I've got a piece of scrap here that I've drilled and reamed three holes in. And this is a quarter inch dowel pin. I've drilled and reamed this hole to 249 thousandths, this hole to 250 thousandths on the nose, and this hole to 251 thousandths. So again, this is a quarter inch diameter dowel pin, and that is a very accurately ground diameter. So if I were to try putting it into this hole, this 249 thousandths hole, it's not going to go at all. You actually need to press it in there with a good bit of force. I've got the 250 hole, and it will actually go in there by hand and slide in. It's it's a little tough and you can see it doesn't want to fall out even if I shake it. And then just one thousandth of an inch bigger, the two, 251 hole, the pin actually just drops right out. And you can slide that in and out pretty easily by hand. So what does this mean when we're talking about fractional inches? Because in the machine shop we always refer to them in thousandths of an inch. So let's take our quarter of an inch. That is equal to 0 0.250 inches. If you do 1 divided by 4, you get 0.25. So the way we would say that in the machine shop is 250 thousandths of an inch. Because this thousandth of an inch here, that is our, our single unit. So there's 250 of those in that. Likewise, 3 eighths equals 0 0.375, 375 thousandths of an inch. But then you've got some other ones. Let's talk about 3 sixteenths, for instance. That is 0.1875. So what's the deal with that 5 at the end? That is our 10 thousandths of an inch spot. And normally we refer to those as tenths, as in tenths of a thousandth. So we would read that as 187 thousandths and 5 tenths. If you're ever confused about how to get your decimal equivalent for your fraction, you divide the numerator, the top number, by the denominator, the bottom number. 3 divided by 16 equals 0 0.1875.
So I hope this video helped, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.